Well, two years ago, Congress passed legislation that was intended to curb the NSA's power to monitor Americans' phone calls. Law didn't seem to have stopped the NSA, according to an annual report released recently. Despite having FISA warrants to spy on only 42 specific terrorism suspects, last year, the National Security Agency managed to collect 151 million American phone call records. What is the NSA doing, and does it justify the massive violation of your privacy? Stuart Baker was a general counsel at NSA in the early 90s, and he joins us tonight. Stuart, thanks a lot for coming on. It's a pleasure. So we have fewer than 50, according to NSA, right. terrorists in our sites, and yet 150 million Americans have their metadata collected. How 150 records were picked up, not Americans. but uh, 150 million. Million. Yeah. Uh, so NSA is doing exactly what Congress told it to do. Uh, it said, we want to keep this program, uh, but uh, uh, when they uh, uh, set up the program, uh, uh, they set it up more or less to address a problem that they had seen with the 9-11 attackers, that uh, when they identified a terrorist haven in Yemen and they saw phone calls coming in, they didn't realize they were coming from the United States. And so NSA said, we need to find anybody who's in touch with a terrorist outside the United States. And we want to, you know, as you'd expect, if you're investigating somebody who's in touch with a terrorist, you want to know who they're in touch with in the United States and maybe who those people are in touch with. Right. So when you do the math, that turns out to be close to 150 million. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll run it. So it's like doubling a penny every day for a month. Exactly, kind of thing? exactly. It's like that um, uh, 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 one grain, two grains, three grains, or four grains on a chessboard, and you end up uh, with all the grain in the world. So here's my uh, everything you said sounds reasonable, and I and I want to believe it because I love the country and right. I know good people who work in government. But I also know people who work in the Congress who say my committee is supposed to be overseeing NSA, providing oversight. And we can't get information that we request from NSA. They just don't send it to us. Does, is there actual oversight? Yeah, there, I, that does not sound right, uh, at least as far as the intelligence committees go. I've heard this from two different members of the intelligence committees within the last two months. Okay. I, I, I'm not aware of any reason why NSA would not provide anything that their overseers asked for. Uh, they, uh, the entire culture of the National Security Agency is focused on obeying the law, compliance with the law. Uh, and uh, I remember walking through with the, the attorney general, walking through, and she stopped by a soldier. I said to the soldier, uh, um, what do you do if you find an American's uh, uh, communications in this stream of intelligence? And he gave exactly the right answer. Right. Uh, and afterwards, uh, uh, the attorney general said, you know, you're not supposed to ask a question if you don't know what the answer is going to be. I said, I knew exactly what the training here was going to be, uh, uh, what that uh, guy had been through, and I knew he knew the answer. And I'm not surprised. But you sort of wonder, I mean, I wonder a lot of things about NSA, but one is, how would we really know? So it's obviously highly technical and highly classified. And if I'm a member of Congress, I'm one of the committees, and I call over and say, I'd like this, that, and the other thing, am I sure I'm getting those things? And so, how do I know that so I am? So this is the hardest problem with intelligence. It's got to be secret, and right? yet you want, in a democracy, to be sure that uh, the government runs it and the intelligence committee is not running, yes. a community is not running the government. Uh, the way we've solved that, or addressed it at least, is there are multiple independent and rivalrous centers of power, all of whom think that their principal job, job one, is to make sure that the intelligence community, in some cases NSA, don't violate the law. There's the Justice Department thinks that's their job. The general counsel at NSA thinks that's their job. There's a privacy officer at NSA who thinks that's their job. Two intelligence committees who think that's their job. Uh, uh, the FISA court thinks it's their job to ride herd on NSA. All of them are independent. All of them are going to make their careers that they can find a violation of law at NSA. And all of them conduct investigations at various times. It's not perfect. But they're probably the most investigated agency that I can think of. When James Clapper, who was running American Intelligence, went before Congress and said, we're not spying on any American citizens, and then it turned out he was lying, um, did that shock you? Yeah, I, look, I, I think he either misunderstood the question. I think he misunderstood the question. The real problem was he didn't back down. He didn't admit he'd gotten it wrong. It was a trick question. 
because Ron Wyden, who asked the question, knew exactly what the answer was, and he was trying to get the uh, uh, director of national intelligence to say something that would make the newspapers. Uh, uh, so it was an unfair question. Really? Are you spying on Americans? That seems like a pretty straightforward question. I, 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 but he would have had to say... Uh, not surprisingly, I can't answer a question about right. what I'm doing uh, here in, in an open session. He provided plenty of information in a closed session. But I, I, look, I'm not here to defend what he said, and certainly not his insistence on doubling down on it. But as a reasonable person, final question, you're, you're confident of his good faith? Yeah, I am. I, I, he's a career guy. He, he served uh, many Republican and as well as Democratic right. administrations. Mr. Speaker, thanks for joining us. It was a pleasure. Appreciate it.